Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review ginger oil for hair that I bought from Shopee. This product claims to help you improve your hair and scalp health, thus promoting hair growth and lessening hair loss. But first thing first, some disclaimers. This video is meant for educational purposes and I will try to be as factual as possible while giving my audience the realistic expectations. As always, nobody sponsored me. I bought this product with my own money and everybody responds to certain chemicals differently. Please watch this video till end to avoid missing any important information. Before I start, you need to know that there are two ginger oils for hair out there with different names but have the same packaging design. I like to believe that both products are original. They came from the same OEM manufacturer, similar to how products from Sudwar and BioAqua are made. It's just that the product's owner didn't bother to change the packaging of the product. However, the only proof I can provide is that the manufacturer addresses for both products came from a city called Guangzhou. But then again, it's China. If they can copy international brand, it would be easier for them to copy each other. Anyways, the one from Zenshui or Zenshui says ginger hair nutrient liquid and the other one without brand is called ginger hair nourishing lotion. So to avoid any confusion in the future, I'm going to refer to both products as ginger oil. There are a few issues regarding my hair I'd like to address. Uh, this picture is going to be a reference for what I'm talking about. Yes, it is a picture of me back in 2018. I was 19 years old here. Anyways, number one, I expect, I expect ginger oil to help me with hair loss. A little backstory, I switch back and forth between long hair and buzz cut. But ever since the post-COVID era, I always preferred my hair long. At the time, at that time, I noticed my hair would come off every time I ran my finger through my hair while it's dry. I also noticed strands of hair on my pillowcases and shirts. Number two, I wasn't blessed with a good hairline, making my forehead look big. So I was hoping that ginger oil could help me get more hair on the front part so my hairline would be lowered, thus reducing the size of my forehead. Number three, I think this part of hair is called parietal ridge. As you can see, I have some gap between these two parts of my hair. This gap bothers me because it's making me think I'm going bald. If you didn't know, male pattern baldness usually starts here and it is called an, it is called an M-shaped hairline. Number four, I wanted thicker hair. The main reason why I switch back and forth between a buzz cut and long hair is that even with long hair, my hair looks thin, not to the point of super thin, but I still think it doesn't look good. Yes, long hair might give the illusion of good hair health, but what's the point of long hair if people can easily see your scalp? I want my hair so thick to the point that people won't be able to see my scalp easily. I'm aware that this could be a paranoia that was influenced by the hair loss I suffered from my pre-hair oils era. However, if ginger oil fails to improve these four things, I don't mind it at all, as long as it keeps my scalp and hair healthy. At the end of the day, prevention is always better than cure. Before I end this chapter, you might wonder what is my ideal hairline. I would say Jensen Ackles' hairline is my ideal hairline. I grew up watching him on a TV series called Supernatural, and the way his hairline stayed the same over the years is just amazing. I've been using ginger oils for nearly 7 months, starting from 8 February 2024 to 6 September 2024. Just in case you're wondering how long one bottle of ginger oil lasted, my answer is one bottle of ginger oil could last for about a month if you use two milliliters once a day. 
I should note that this also depends on your hair type. Unlike rosemary oil, which I use twice a week, I use ginger oil every day, once a day, one hour before sleep, without rinsing it off. I also use this syringe to help to, to help me apply the ginger oil directly to my scalp. Depending on how long my hair is at the time, when I get a buzz cut, I only use 1 ml, but after 3 months or so of getting a haircut, I started using 2 ml a day. So far, there have been no sign of negative side effects on me, but during my time with rosemary oil, it made my scalp feel itchy. Back then, I thought it was a sign that rosemary oil was working its magic on my scalp. So the reason why I avoided hair oil since childhood up until my mid-twenties is that I remembered my grandma used to put this hair oil on me and the texture was greasy and the smell was just overwhelming. But when I started using Ilho rosemary oil and ginger oil, it changed my mind. Both hair oils textures are very light to the point it barely leaves a greasy feeling on my palms and hair. Both products have that herbal minty scent, but it's not overwhelming at all. For those who are wondering if I ever use micro needling or not, the answer is no. I want to see results that are purely from ginger oil, which is why I try to maintain the same diet and exercise for a month. As always, I will provide links to the articles in the description or comment section so you can read it for yourself. The simplest, the simplest way for me to explain ginger in hair care is that some articles say that ginger oil can promote better blood circulation for your hair follicles and scalp. It is also an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory and it comes packed with vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, and antioxidants. With that being said, research regarding ginger for your hair and scalp health is limited and most evidence came in the form of anecdotal. And on the other hand, according to Healthline and Strut, applying ginger topically may decrease hair growth instead of promoting it. So do what you want with this information. I'm starting this chapter by apologizing for not being aware of an issue regarding rosemary oil earlier. And I feel obligated to let you know that Dr. Mitchell Wong, also known as Lab Muffin Beauty Science, made a video talking about rosemary oil for hair, where she called out the research on rosemary oil as bad science. After watching the whole video, the simplest way for me to put it is that research on rosemary oil is a load of bullshit. The funny thing is, this research has been quoted and cited by many dermatologists, aestheticians, health, health website writers, and influencers. This, teach you, this teaches you a lesson that you shouldn't trust a certain products or ingredient just because a lot of people talk about it. It kind of shows that even professionals didn't do their homework properly. Anyways, you can watch the video for yourself. I'll provide the link to that video in the description or comment section below. I should start this chapter by saying I'm not actively balding. This is an attempt to improve my hair and scalp health. If you are actively balding, go see a dermatologist as soon as possible. Before I forget, there are some photo comparison near the end of this chapter. Before trying hair oils, I had concerning issues with hair loss. I'm not kidding when I said my hair was shedding like crazy. For a full story, go listen to my expectations chapter. Anyways, after nearly 7 months of using ginger oil, I don't see as many strands of, of hair on my pillowcase, no more strands of hair on my shirt. The only time I noticed my hair coming off was when I was guiding water through my hair when taking showers, but that was normal. 
just in case you are wondering will ginger oil make your hair smooth shiny and softer my answer is no it's not gonna do that when running my finger through my hair while it's dry i do feel some kind of friction but the good news is my hair did not come off very come off every time i did that for the sake of experiment i did use ginger oil at daytime but i don't think it's worth it because i just sweat it off did this product enhance hair growth or to be more specific did ginger oil make my hair thick um, the answer is i'm not sure i might be experiencing some form of dysmorphia so here's a picture of me that was uh, taken in September with long hair. And this one is with a bus cut. As I said, I'm not sure, but I like to believe that ginger oil did give me more hair on the front part of my hairline and shrink the gap of these parts of my hair just a little bit. I think ginger oil is an affordable product for maintaining your hair and scalp health. It can also help you in dealing with minimal hair loss issues as long as you're not actively balding. It may be able to delay signs of aging for your scalp. By all means, ginger oil is not meant to be the alternative to minoxidil and finasteride because of one simple reason. Both ingredients have been through considerable amount of research and clinical studies. So I think I've covered everything that needs to be covered. So this is all for today. I'm Ambrizal04-15 signing off.